Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. Man, I went to make a video yesterday and uh, my Dell Optiplex couldn't access its M2 drive, so I uh, had to mess around with that. Anyway, I've sort of landed on my feet. I've got my uh, OBS Studio uh, set back up so I can record a video. Uh, I was just going to do an unboxing. I had, I had a package arrive yesterday. I'm pretty sure it's going to be my programmable load, which I bought the other day because I wanted to use it to test the power supply. But then, of course, I just tested it with a resistor, which is perhaps like two orders of magnitude cheaper than my programmable load. Um, but I've got a programmable load now. So uh, I've never used a programmable load before. I don't know what to expect. Um, it's in the box, we'll get it in a minute and we'll pop it open and we'll see what we can see. Also I wanted to mention this book which arrived. Um, this is, uh, <clears throat> can you see that? Mindstorms. So it's about like Lego, how about up there? Um, it was written in 1980, which is a long, long time ago. That's the year I was born. And it smells wonderful. It smells like old books. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. I suppose I should have cleaned up before I uh, started making the video. I'll just put some of this stuff away. Now this is the package. Um, I'm expecting to find a programmable load in there. Um, wrapped up in tape which is quite common from China. AliExpress, I bought this through, of course. Um, I just got myself a nice, cheap, programmable load. Um, so I just want to learn a little bit about how you program a programmable load. Um, presumably, I don't know, there'll be some settings. I don't know if you can set the resistance or if you can set the current or... I don't know how you configure a programmable load, so we can learn that together. Uh, I'm not sure the best way to open this box. There we go. Got some purchase there. Ripper. All right. Hey, this thing's really wrapped up. I'm not going to need that. Yep. It's a programmable load. Can you see everything that's going on there? I'm glad I was able to fix that issue with my uh, um, computer that was really bothering me um, because I've already spent too much money making all of this happen I bought computers and cameras and all sorts of things and I, I was a bit bummed I thought maybe I'd have to spend some more money um, but I don't think I have to so that's something all right Look at this, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. It's, uh, that's, that's, that's great. I'm going to keep that. Might use it to ship something else. So maybe some, you know, we'll see. Alright, so these... These look like uh, alligator clips to me. See what's going on there? I think you can. Alright. So we've got banana plugs to alligators and we've got lugs to alligators. I of course already have 
banana to alligator. Uh, but what I don't have is lugs to alligator. So that, that's good. It's always good to have options. Now, that's an interesting looking adapter. Can you see that? It's got USB on one end and then some sort of like a four pin, like I want to say DIN, I, don't, I see something that's got four pins, I want to call it a DIN, although well, usually those are five pins. So uh, I think this is its, uh, this is probably its data. Oh, I could be power. Could be power. Yeah. Yeah, it probably is power. We'll see. Anyway, that's USB to sort of like a custom job. And we've got this guy. Not sure what this is. Oh, power. Ripper. So this is uh, 12 volt, 1 amp. AC adapter. 12 volt, 1 amp. If it's 12 volt, 1 amp, I could power it off my power supply. But uh, I don't think I'll be doing that. Alright. So, that's not a particularly long lead. Uh, how far would it go? Yeah, that might require extension. Um, we might make an extension, why not, huh? Oh, look, and it's uh, a US. This is just getting uh, worse and worse. It's too short, wrong end. I think I'm going to do something else about power for this guy. <coughs> um, but we'll check that out soon. This is the manual in Chinese, of course. Uh, it's well packaged. So, oh, it's got a warranty card. I don't know why people do that, but I read today some places they'll extend your warranty if you uh, send them your info and register. I always thought that was a bit of a scam. I think uh, you're entitled to warranties under like consumer law anyway, so. But I guess they can give you a longer one if they want to. So these are. Uh, this is not useful to me because they're in Chinese. All right, there it is, instruction manual. We're gonna read that, it's in Chinese anyway. Maybe it's in English in the back. What do we got? Chinese, 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 Chinese. Chinese, 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 Chinese. Well, that's uh, not helpful. Might be able to find one on the internet, but uh, I'm not super worried because I don't think this thing's going to be all that complicated. What do you reckon? Uh, let's see if we can get this guy open. Oh, dear me. I like this camera, by the way. This one that comes down here and just sort of goes, it's a good camera, right? Eh? had to actually reinstate it because I had switched it out and anyway and I'm I'm hoping I've been watching Adrian's Digital Basement um, which is just a dude in the States doing old Atari and Commodore 64 repairs and things like that he, he's a pretty knowledgeable dude he uh, outclasses me that's for sure <laughs> I saw him fix an Atari the other day I was so impressed <coughs> um, but, you know, give me a decade, I might catch up. Um, why was I telling you that? I had a story to tell you and I forgot what it was. Something to do with Adrian's digital basement. Alright. Oh yeah, that's right. I, uh, I found that he, he's got this really cool camera. It's a great big thing with a big lens and you can like, uh, you know, zoom it in and out. And that's what I need for my bench. Cause I, I've got, let me show you. You're probably well aware of this. I've got this view, um, which 
you know, shows you my bench. But if I'm doing something like here, you, you can't see the details because you, you're all the way out here. So, um, <sighs> put you back there. Yeah, anyway, um, I wanted to know what camera he's using and I'd be interested to know how it interfaces with his recording computer, if it's USB or HDMI or basically how it works. Because I've just thrown myself right in the deep end here. I'm, I'm doing one take videos, no editing. I've got a few cameras, that's cool, but I only have one recording and I use OBS Studio to change the scene like in real time. So it's, there's no post-production work, I don't know how you would take multiple video streams and edit them together. I just don't have any of that information. I'm hoping to figure all that stuff out. So maybe the quality of my videos on this channel will get better when I learn more about the state of the art. All right, so here we go. Uh, ah, that looks a bit grubby. I wonder if it's got a, I'm not sure. It's a bit grubby, oh, that's disappointing. It's not a it's, it's it's not a plastic thing over the top of it. It's just a bit grubby. All right, so we got on and set. I wonder, can I show you that if we uh, we pop you over? What about here? How's that going for you? I'm not sure if you can see the details. Um, so amp volt volt amp. <coughs> okay. Yep, well I can tell you I have absolutely no idea how to use this. Um, got a, a, red, a red power button on the back. Sorry, you can't see that. I got a red power button on the back. Power in here and then I, this... I don't know, it must be some sort of data thing, mustn't it? <clears throat> Well, let's power it up and see what it does, huh? Um, we're going to need an adapter. That oughtn't be much of a problem. Let me just put you out on the big screen. Yeah, let's go. Let's go adapter hunting, huh? I've got a bunch of them down here. There we go. Easy peasy. Here we are. So we'll put you back over. Uh, what do you want to see? How about, no, not that one. That one. Bang. Okay. So, adapter. And here's our power supply. So, that ought to work in there. And it doesn't want to go in. Ah, there it goes. All right. Well, uh, you know, I might get some advice about what to do here. Um, I'm going to get on the AEV blog forum and I'm going to ask them about how to connect the amp and voltage terminals correctly to a power supply. Let me see if I can pop you over. How about that one? Yeah, all right. Yeah, so, oh wow, that's really laggy. Hello, look at that. Yeah, way behind the times. Anyway, um, you can see my power supply in the background there, and um, and this guy. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that off. That's really terribly slow. Uh, let's jump you back over to uh, there. I like this one. This is one of my favorite views because you can see everything on the bench. Anyway, um, in the background is my power supply, the Ryden RD6006. I've done a video on how to power that guy with the HP Pavilion 
power brick. So that's all working. Um, I want to test it again using my programmable load. Of course, that's just an excuse to use my programmable load so that I can learn how to use it. I don't know how to connect the voltage and the amp. There's obviously uh, two, um, two sets of terminals. So, uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll ask my mates over on the EEV blog forum. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll just... Um, ask ChatGPT or get on the internet and see if I can find a manual or maybe another YouTube video or something like that. So um, you can leave that with me and, and I'll come back with an update. So I guess this was just the unboxing. It's not the testing. And, and this is my ZKE Tech battery tester electronic load. Um, so um, yeah, it'll be fun to check out this, uh, this programmable load. Uh, and we'll do that in the next video after I have half a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> so uh, signing off for now. See you next time.